हेलो माय नेम इज अंकुश अग्निहोत्री टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू अवर एंगुलर जर्नी दिस इज पार्ट ट्वेल्व ऑफ ऑफ इट इफ यू हैवन वॉच द अदर पार्ट आई सी एस यू टू वॉच दैट फर्स्ट लिंक इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड ऑल्सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल टू गेट द लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन ऑन दिस सीरीज सो लेट स्टार्ट टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एंगुलर फॉर्म्स सो वाई वी नीड अ एंगुलर फॉर्म वी नीड एंगुलर फॉर्म्स टू कलेक्ट द यूजर इनपुट डाटा एंड सेव इट इन टू अवर डाटा बेस इन टू डेज टूटोरियल वी विल बिल्ड अवर एंगुलर फॉर्म फॉर द कंपोनेंट यूजर कंपोनेंट इन विच वी आर एडिंग और अपडेटिंग अ यूजर अ कंपोनेंट विल बी सेम बट वी विल परफॉर्म अ टू ऑपरेशन एडिंग एंड अपडेटिंग फ्रॉम द सेम कंपोनेंट सो एंगुलर फॉर्म्स कैन बी बिल्ड इन टू वेज फर्स्ट इज द मॉडल ड्रिवन फॉर्म्स विच वी ऑल्सो नोन एज रिएक्टिव फॉर्म्स सेकेंड इज द टेम्पलेट ड्रिवन फॉर्म so let's switch to the visual studio code to go one by one first we will start with the template driven forms so template driven forms are the simple forms in which we will use the ng directive to convert it into the template driven form at the top level form groups and then we will start adding the ng model to the each of the html attributes so let's open the html so the first thing that we have to be convert the normal form into the template driven form is we will add it at in the form tag we will add a form name then it is a ng form and then on our controls what we will add we will add a ng model that's it these are the two things that we need to be convert our form into the template driven form in this we will add our properties like this is the first name last name email and gender marriage status country and then we have a complex structure inside a simple form for that we need a ng model group that we named as address and in the address we have three fields city street and the pin code so all we need to do is when we have a complex form inside a simple object then we will add a ng model at the top name of the property then its child properties and rest these are the two simple things that we need to be added first is the ng model property and on the form tag you have to specify your form name in our case it is a contact form and then on we you are defining your submit click on submit click what we are passing is we are passing our contact form values and on the bottom of it we are printing these values using the data interpolation so this is the html and if we saw our typescript file in the typescript we have a simple country list that is for our demo we are using the two three countries india usa and england and then our submit button click in the submit button click we are doing nothing we are simply logging a contact form so let's start it to see the demo npm start this will build our code and we are able to see the output so it's asking 4200 port is already used so we are using another port for deploying our website so it hosted on the port 52945 let's open it so let's go to the temple template driven forms so over here you are able to see we have a nice little form first name last name email and the other information let's fill it so i fill the forms my id you can see on the right hand side the value is automatically populated and since the, we haven't submitted the data so once we click it it will be automatically submitted and you will see on the console you have a your demo object that is your contact form with all the information that we have if i zoom it for you you can see all the contact object and inside that particular contact object we have a address object that has a three property city pin code and street so this is how we can build our complex object using the template driven approach so let's move forward toward the model driven form that is your reactive forms so let's close this first for the reactive forms 
first we define our form component in our component class in let's let me open our add user component and add user HTML first we will see our component file let's minimize this so so the first thing is we will first define an ID to decide it whether it is update or add and then we are defining our user form in this user form we will define our properties how we can define our user form using the form group and in this form group what we are doing is we are adding our properties like name mobile email gender date of birth ID of the user whether it is active or not by default it is true rating and the user type and we will add a required field validation to each of the field and here we also add a regex pattern in this way firstly we will tell them it is a required property then it is a email type validator and then we will apply a regex pattern on the email and then other properties we can define it in the constructor we will initialize this user form group and now we have to switch on the HTML to see what are the changes we have to be implement so if we compare it this with the template driven approach what we are doing in the form we are defining our form group that is the user form that we define into our TypeScript file uh, if I open this file in a split view yep okay here you go now we can compare side by side in the template form group what we are doing is model driven approach firstly we define our form group that is the user form that we define in our component file and then what we are doing is the properties that we have defined into our component file we are start building that properties using the HTML I'm using bootstrap for designing so what I'm doing I'm taking first a label bind to the property and then I'm taking an input group you can see in this input group what I'm doing is I'm firstly specifying a name of the property and then I'm checking its state whether it is touched or not to see the validation method or to fire that validations and then we are defining the class form control is the by default class and when whether it is invalid or not we are changing its class as an invalid class and then we are checking its state using the user form get name whether it is valid or not to get its state to fire the validations in similar way we have the other properties you have label you have input for the mobile number and then we are checking its validation state adding its form control class for the same and in similar way we will build our whole form and at last what we are doing on the bottom of it after the save button we are printing it value in the JSON format and on the save click what we are doing is we are adding this into our user data class here you go on the save click firstly we are checking its whether this form is valid or not if it is not valid we are returning it if the value is 0 then straightforward we are going to create a new user either it is an update so based upon insert or update we are calling our user service to insert or update a record and then finally we are navigating to the users list component and also we are subscribing what we are subscribing is we are getting a user ID value in case of the update when you are going to be update any user what we have to do we have to find a ID from its param value basically from the URL we are retrieving it and set it and we are getting the user form data and based upon that we are binding those those value to the form so let's quickly see the output let's go to the user when we click on the add button it will navigate to the form that is used built using the model driven approach that is the reactive form and here we here you go we are entering our data let's see mobile number you can see on the bottom its data will be updated its rating 
its email let's say if I am adding an invalid email so it will start highlighting it this is an invalid email so we have to we add a valid email once we add a valid its valid image uh, email it will rejects will be validated and red class will be automatically gone then you will add your date of birth let's add any of them select gender whether this is a user and you will hit the save button and on the save you will see our record will be seen over there now in the previous demo we will build this paging class and our buttons are not shown over here so let's go to our code quickly see our user list HTML okay let's close everything we will only see a user list so over there we have a nice little router links and over there we have a icon over there but icon are not shown for our demo so for that why it is no showing we have to be import a button module for that so let's quickly import that so we import that it's building add a building now now you will see you have uh, your buttons ng prime buttons that we are using and also one more thing for using the template driven forms or reactive forms we have to be import a form module and the reactive form modules in the app.component.ts file only then you are able to use angular forms into your html otherwise you are getting an error when you are using the form groups and the other form control templates in the angular form so that's it for today in the next session what we will do right now when we are adding any user let's say quickly we can add one more and its name is Amit email Amit at the rate gmail.com mail date of birth you can choose any of it user and hit save so it is saved now now if you refresh your it is temporary stored on your browser memory if you refresh your page you will see the newly added record will be gone it is not added to your actual database so in the next session we will work on the APIs how we can save this data actually or retrieve this data from your database using the HTTP service thanks for watching see you in the next lecture